everybody in this short tutorial slash tip um, it's much more of a tip than a tutorial um, it's just I'm gonna show you guys how to make a ghost kick and this is good for some of you may know this but um, this is mainly for beginners and all it is is a muted kick that's used for uh, side chaining and this is uh, very useful for breakdowns where it's just melodic elements and there are no drums playing so let me just play this out for you guys so you can hear the example. So what I have here is two spires playing with just a melody. And you can hear the pumping effect. It's created through this ghost channel. And all it is is a side-chained um, side compression for the 4-4 kick. So um, how you make this channel is all you basically do is just duplicate um, your kick. So this is a 4-4 kick. All it is is that it's muted. So instead of it playing, it's just muted, but the kick is still there, creating that side chain of pumping effect. Um, so how you create this is you go on your whichever element it is. For example, this one is a synth, which is spire. And all I did is you open up a compressor. I'm going to use a regular standard compressor. You put this little tab button. You click on sidechain. And then you sidechain to the ghost kick. And you just kind of play with the threshold and the ratio for your own liking. See, this is a lot, so I kind of want it here. here with and without it show you guys quick with and without this is with without this is with so you can hear how it's pumping and even though there's no kick and this is uh, very useful for all dance tracks and mainly when I make my tracks I'll usually just run it all throughout the whole track so I'll have a 4-4 kick going throughout even though there is no kick at some point but all it does is just create a pumping effect um, throughout the whole track and it's very useful it keeps people going um, it creates that groove and yeah, that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, just subscribe and we'll see you guys next time.